All right, welcome to Talking Shop and Merry Christmas. Merry or Christmas. Soon enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are looking at the text, uh, Luke chapter 2, uh, 1 through 20, which there's a lot of options here. You could you could preach John 1 on Christmas Day. This mm-hmm. is usually the Christmas Eve or Christmas midnight text. There's all mm-hmm. the point is. This is the text when those people who don't come to church very often think about Christmas, or even those who come to church very often, yeah. this is the text they're thinking it's of. It's not Colossians 1? It is not. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. This, they, they want the one that Linus recites <laughs> yeah. the Charlie Brown Christmas. There you and go. This is that text, uh, which is great. It's a good reason to preach it, actually. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll see there's a, there's a lot of um, uh, beautiful kind of uh, contradictions you can play out. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, of the the majesty of it to the lowliness, all those kind yes. of things um, that I, I think will resonate a lot with with our hearers today, um, and so it gives us a good opportunity to make that gospel take root uh, in their lives here now. Uh, so like, subscribe, um, yeah, let's get after it. Amen. Well, spit out my Lord in every way, yet I'm still welcome. In the All right, Luke chapter 2, 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus, all the world should be registered, yada, 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 Quirinius, governor of Syria, uh, all these kind of things. What? Why is this important? Why does Luke want us to know this stuff? Oh, it's so great. Uh, this is anchored in history. It's a wonderful story, but if it's just a story, okay, so what? No. This is history. And Luke, the diligent historian that he is, details all those historical elements. We need to know to be convinced that this really happened. It's even better than just a good story. Right. It happened. Yeah. When the fullness of time had come. Right. Right? Everything is set in motion, and at the, when the time is right, uh, God does his work. Yeah, so, so this, is, this is the story everyone wants to hear on Christmas, uh, the journey to uh, Bethlehem because there's a census being taken yeah. from the house and the lineage of uh, David, so they go to his town. It's also a reminder that God works through means. Yeah. Because after all, if the census wouldn't have gone out, sure. Jesus would have been born in Nazareth. And then oh, yeah. the... And then the uh, the prophecy wouldn't have been fulfilled of right. him being born in the city of David, and and the and the uh, yeah. wise men wouldn't know where to go. They wouldn't know where to go. This would have been That's terrible. Right. Providential, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you get uh, you kind of actually in the text, you hurry up and get through the birth. Actually, move yeah. pretty quick, yeah. right? She she they go there. She um, uh, gives birth. Uh, there's no room for him in the inn, all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. right? Uh, right? But she wraps him up in swaddling cloths and lays him in a manger, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of discrepancy out there on where was he really born? What mm. is a manger? If yeah. you've been to Bethlehem, for those people who have been, you know, they have discussions there, these like food troughs cut out in the caves kind of thing where they put yeah. the hand, all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. This is not the time to have that conversation with your people, right? No. It's not crucial. Right. Yeah. Right? Um, you don't have to uh, sort of correct misunderstandings yeah. on... I mean, I don't think you do, right? Well, I mean... I, th- I mean, you could give some of that. The that only the like. only thing that's important is whatever it looked like, that's what the shepherds found. That's what the, and that's how yes, they knew yes, exactly. what it is, what right. they were going to do. And it is so, a lowly thing. It is. It's, a, it it's is. you know, for... The Son of God to be born in oh, such yeah. circumstances. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. point, right? And there might be a homiletical angle in that. <laughs> Bethlehem is house of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's Jesus, the bread of life, lying in a feeding trough, and mm. it just lends you to go sure. right yeah, into yeah. communion yeah, yeah. Yeah, on yeah. Christmas Day. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. Um, so in that region, though, then you get to the kind of the meat of it, uh, if you will. Uh, there's shepherds who are not... Uh, in the sheep pens, sheep folds. They're out. They're out. These are wild shepherds. Wild shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> These are shepherds wild out. Shepherds. Out uh, yeah, tending. <laughs> so this would happen from time to time. Yes. Right? yes. Guys would tend their flocks by night instead of 
Um, I don't know all the background to that. I know there were different kinds of well, shepherds. It, it, you, or shepherds would just do it differently. Or you, or you have something like uh, you know, after a harvest, we we actually have that around here in our area where you'll you'll get uh, flocks of goats going out and cleaning the Clean, fields. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. And so they're they're going out and they're uh, they're having the opportunity. We to try to get goats to come over to fields. eat the remaining pumpkins after our pumpkin. There you go, <laughs> We've yeah. gotten them. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So. So. Um, so they're they're out. The point is, these guys are outside at night. Yep. Uh, uh, shepherds again. Yep. Lowly birth. Yeah. Lowly uh, audience to announce the birth. Yeah. To, yeah. Right. Shepherds were. Uh, these carnies. Are, these are yeah, carnies. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> yeah. kind of dirty, yeah. uh, rough, yeah. rough guys. Yeah, <laughs> Josephus has some great work on the shepherds. If you uh, go back into him as a historian, as to, you know, they weren't even allowed in town because they smelled so bad and yeah. all of these kinds of things. So, uh, so yeah, not a not um, yeah. not your your prime audience. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Uh, but angel Lord appears to them. The glory shines around them. The angel says what they always say, yeah. do not be afraid or stop being afraid, I think uh -huh. is literally how you can translate it, right? Uh, because angels are freaky. Um, yeah. So they show up, fear not, uh, and this is, this is what everyone knows from Charlie Brown Christmas, yeah, Linus. right? Mm -hmm. um, bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Uh, and this flows from last week. Unto you today in the city, David, a savior. Yeah. Right. This, boy, right. this, mm -hmm. this is a yeah. savior. This is what's yeah. come. Right. Salvation. Uh, Christ the Lord, the, the anointed one. Yeah. Right. I mean, you're kind of right. packing it all in. Yeah. Um, and he gives them a sign. Here's your sign. It's where you're going to see. And what's the sign? Uh, you'll find a baby uh, swaddled. Mm -hmm. And laying in whatever that thing was from previously yeah. where Mary <laughs> laid it. But that's probably so. the sign part of it. Because, I mean, what babies yeah. wouldn't be swaddled, except your kids. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, kids never but who would stick a baby in a... That's you know, true. You know, that's major. true. So this, yeah. is a, this is a very specific baby that yeah. you're yeah, going to right. find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and if that wasn't scary enough that it's the middle of the night and you have an angel of the Lord appear to you make this announcement... Uh, it's about to get a lot more scary <laughs> yeah. uh, because suddenly there is the <laughs> angel, a multitude. We don't even know yeah. how big that is. And a, if one's scary, yeah. <laughs> imagine an army. A plethora army is yeah. the way that the Greek does it. Yeah. Uh, a great numbered army. And they praise God and say, well, what's the big announcement here? This is famous. Everyone knows it, or at least they think they know it. Yeah. Uh, wow. Glory in the highest to God and upon earth peace uh, to men of favor is really your best way to do it. Yeah. I mean, there's not a, uh, and then the, you know, you've got, is it objective or subjective genitive? Again, not for your preaching, just for right. your, yeah, yeah, yeah. For your yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, men of favor. So some will do men with whom he is pleased. Uh, or men uh, pleased of God, I don't, you know, I don't right. know. Yeah. So, right, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just men of favor in the Greek. So there's a big proclamation, big moment, um, attested to by the, the multitude in the heavens. Oh, yeah. Uh, something, behold, this is that kind of behold, he is doing a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. worthy of celebration yeah. in the yeah. heavens. Right. Um, and it, so there is a beauty to that Absolutely. of the the heavenly host yeah. to shepherds, yeah. right? And it's and not, how many yeah. shepherds? It's not, it's not. It's not to to you know Herod. It's not to, exactly. to kings. It's not to you know. And so you get the this glorious celebration with this with the lowly ones yeah. hearing it, receiving right. mm -hmm. that word. It's like HBO uh, what a picture of like expending. the church going forward. Yeah, yeah. But like if HBO expended. Three billion dollars on a production, and eight people watched it. Yeah, you know, it's, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's pretty good. Is that worth it? Yeah. Like, well, this is God's plan. This is yeah. unfolding. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom, they're gone, just as they came. So they left. <laughs> right. Uh, they leave them, and they decide what. Well, now what do we do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That was great. Good that show. Was, good, good show, Angel. Good show. Good job. Well, no, no one, the, one, okay. of the brighter, one of the brighter shepherds says, let's go to Bethlehem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And let's see this thing that they were babbling on about. Maybe we should yeah. check this out. Let's go see the thing that, ha that has happened, right? That the Lord made known to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they go, they hurry up, they get there, they find just as they were told, right? Mm -hmm. Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying in the manger. Uh, and when they said it, they told them what they heard. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Right? yeah. All of a sudden, shepherds show up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, there's a baby in a manger. Oh my. Very I'm sure Mary and Joseph moment. are like, what, hey, uh, what are you, how did yeah. you know about this? Yeah. Who's, who's been out talking? That's right. Put right. a mask on before you come in here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, baby lion in a manger, they saw it, they make it known. Uh, and all who heard it, which kind of makes it, there must have been other people around. Uh, obviously, she's just given birth. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's, there's a big to do. They hear the word gets around what the shepherds are saying. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, the shepherds make sure the word gets around yeah. too. You get yeah. that as well. But uh, and and they uh, they marvel at it. Right. They wonder. I think mm -hmm. is how mm -hmm. at, at what they're saying. And then you get this this kind of tender moment where. What is Mary doing with yeah. all this info? She's mm -hmm. pondering these things, treasuring them up in her heart. Yeah. Yeah, gathering them together. Suna, suna balo. Yeah. Um, yeah, which she will also do at with Simeon in the temple. Yes. So there's a... And mm -hmm. I, if I recall right, after when he's in the, in the temple as a young boy as well, or there's something there, maybe not. I, um, well, it makes you maybe. think of that and that whole line. Yeah. And then even continuing on to when he's crucified. Um, if, she's, if she's got this stored up, then she's going to be more prepared for that mm -hmm. ultimately. Yeah. The, yeah. the death. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because Simeon's sign would obviously be this is the, you know, the sword will pierce your own soul yeah. as well and yeah, all that right. kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's going to be another yeah. text. Yeah, it's but it's, coming. A, it's a good <laughs> application, though. We yeah. need to store this stuff up as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we need to connect that this baby isn't just, oh, it's a cute little baby. Well, yeah, it the, goes back to right. what we did last week. Yeah. yeah. Right. The, the, yeah. This baby, this is Emmanuel, and he's yeah. come for salvation. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, what Mary will learn, which you, you, you get a glimmer of that with Simeon for sure, is the. Um, this is gonna rip you apart, yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing. Like this, because this, what it's gonna, it's gonna unveil slowly. Is this will yeah. be his death? Yeah, yeah. right. Which right. is, uh, yeah, yeah. This know. child has been born to die, which yeah. I think is in one of our Christmas hymns. Even. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then you get this wonderful little line. I don't know. I think I've preached, uh, kind of focusing on this before. Um, and the shepherds returned. <laughs> Glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Yeah. Um, and what's nice about that, I think it's nice, is Christmas is a day where you're going to get, you, you have a chance of getting a lot of folks who maybe aren't normally in church, yeah. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they all kind of know the text, mm -hmm. you know, they've heard it before. Um, the shepherds don't stay in Bethlehem. They go back right. to work. Yeah. They go back to their jobs. They still have mm -hmm. sheep out there in the field. They right? left all their sheep. Yeah, behind. they got to yeah. go back. Yeah. And there's something, um, I think, encouraging about that in the language of what we would call, like, vocation. Sure. You know, like, like this doesn't, this doesn't mean you stop being a shepherd if mm. that's your vocation. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You take this. Yeah. And now it, you're... Maybe you could say you are not a shepherd the way you were before. Yeah. Right. But in a lot of ways, you are. Right. You're still right. just taking care of your sheep. Yeah. But now you have this wonderful um, story, which is part of you now, yeah. which you're sharing with yeah. others. Right? A yeah. new reality has yeah. been. A new, even not reality, because reality is you're still a shepherd. Um, a new insight maybe yeah. has been given to you. A new understanding of what it means mm -hmm. even to carry out your vocation. Yes. Yeah, um, and I see. I, get, I don't know. I always thought there's something there you could do preaching wise, in which, you know, on a Christmas day you could kind of speak of that. Hey, man, we all have this day off. We have this time mm -hmm. together. Some of you are this. Some of this, and you kind of throw out a bunch of vocations that people have, mm -hmm. and then you kind of get to the end of it, and you kind of say, 
and and that's still what you are. Yeah. <laughs> but but there's this new reality about yeah. you. You right. you've gathered, if you will, at the manger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've gathered right. to to marvel at what has been told, what yeah. God has done in our midst. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. They just uh, share what they had heard and seen as it had been told them, as our people hear and see at church. Yeah. Go out and share the wonderful news of Jesus, our Savior. Yeah. In their vocations. Yeah, it was that laleo that that uh, caught me as we were translating the text. That uh, you know they 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 were going to see something that had been told to them. They told everybody else about what had been yeah. told to them. Yeah, there's a lot of telling of Now films. they're going. They told them what <laughs> yeah. had been told yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah. They and now they're going back glorifying God because of what had been told to them. Yeah, and so right. that's the new reality: is that you, as you go back mm-hmm. to your now there's a there's a as you're doing your work there's a different conversation yeah. there's there's right. new information right. that is and, it, and it's rooted it's, it's rooted in a telling it's yeah. rooted in a word yeah. and so going yeah. back to what we were talking about translating the the rama the the thing yeah. can can be translated word but it um, you know it's more often the the a, a saying a collection yeah. of things mm-hmm. said yeah right? right and this is the dominating thing. Christ is the saying, if mm-hmm. you will. Yeah. This is the word right. of God, as we right. get, you yeah. know, John's gospel. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but all of that, right? The 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 telling, the retelling, right. over and over again. And I had know? actually one parishioner who was new to Lutheranism, and the practice that we have of saying the creed. Yes. You know, um, he applied it here, as in, um, I even know how to articulate what I've seen and heard I, mm, in the words of the Apostles' Creed. When really, somebody asks right. me, what do you believe? I believe in God the Father. Yeah. I believe His Son who is conceived by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. goes all through that. Sure. And he had her memorized already. It's like, I'm equipped that's to really go, good. Yeah. go and tell. Yeah. Yeah. Tell it that's on the mountain. Good. Yeah. All yeah, right. I, yeah. I think that's kind of where I'm going to hang my hat in, in that telling. But that, that telling is now, you know, as we go about our life, we don't go about it in the same way that we did kind of before you said. We've, yeah. we've now gathered around the manger. Yeah. We have you can, seen yeah. you can, uh, no, just, what has been told to us. You could do go tell it on the mountain or in the sheep yeah. pen. Or, <laughs> yeah. you know, right, right. Yeah. You know, you're, yeah. You know, auto body. Yeah, yeah auto body. In fact, actually, it's better if you don't go tell it on the mountain. If yeah. you go back yeah, to your office cubicle, need to hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Um, very good. Uh, check out craftforpreaching.com. There'll be uh, some uh, articles there preaching Christmas and uh, this text as well. Um, uh, we really we thank you guys for being a part of this. Share any thoughts you have. Christmas is always a fun time to preach, uh, but can be challenging because the texts are so well known. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, leave any insights you might have. Uh, continue that conversation. Um, Merry Christmas to all of you, and God bless your preaching.